The Lunar New Year is almost upon us. This year in 2022, it starts on February 1st, and this is the year of the tiger. So of course, there are a lot of tiger handbags out there, and you need to know about them. We'll talk about bags from luxury brands and from contemporary brands. One of the bags I'll be showing you is a very, very popular bag that I've never talked about before because I don't like it. But I'll tell you which bag that is, why I don't like it, and why I do like their Lunar New Year version. So stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I just realized I forgot to put on my rings and bracelets. That's all right, we're gonna roll with it. My channel's all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. I have found so many great deals lately and some hard to find bags that I've been putting in those community posts and you guys are snatching them up. And I put them there because I know you guys are looking for them. Some of them are things you've told me, you know, oh, this is out of stock. If you see one, let me know. And that's where I put it. So subscribe and keep an eye out there. And if for some reason you're not seeing my community posts on your YouTube homepage, you can just go to my YouTube page and there are different tabs like video and search maybe, playlists. And one of those tabs is community. So you can go there and see the posts. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start with the high-end luxury bags. The reason I want to start there is because these bags, I think for most of us, would be a novelty piece. So I'm going to get through those luxury bags because most of us are not going to spend luxury money on novelty bags. And then we'll move to the contemporary bags because those are the ones you might actually want to buy because they're much more affordable. Let's start with Dior. If you go to Dior and you look for the Lunar New Year series, that's not the right word, collection that they have, it's interesting because like I said this is the year of the tiger but they have a bunch of butterfly stuff and of course I'll have all of this linked below so I'll have the link that takes you directly to that Lunar New Year collection but there's a bunch of butterfly stuff can someone explain that to me because I don't understand why are they doing butterflies they also have a few tiger things they have a beautiful little tiger bracelet that is $440. Last time I checked, that one was already sold out, but who knows, it may come back in stock. Probably not, but maybe. Oh, and let me say this one thing real quick too. A lot of you probably saw my heart bag video last week. Several of you commented that I missed some bags that, you know, Coach had these heart bags, but they were sold out, but I didn't mention them. And maybe another brand had something similar. That's because I was only talking about things that were currently in stock. And that's also what I'm doing in this video. So so if you know of some tiger pieces, probably especially from the luxury brands that are already sold out, that's why I'm not talking about them. Except for that bracelet, because I really liked it. As far as tiger bags from Dior, the only place I really found tigers was in their regular Toile collection. Am I saying that correctly? So I'm going to link that below too. That's the one where they... Well, hold on, I have, a, I have an example. I have this notebook from Dior, and this is the Toile print that Dior does, or at least one of them. And you may notice it has tigers in there. It also has lions and a few other animals. But they have book totes, for example, in this print. So if you want something with a tiger from Dior, this is a good way to go. Gucci has a fabulous collection of Lunar New Year items. They basically have two lines that I've seen. One is this very graphic print that says Gucci Tiger. So it has their supreme print in the background and just these big red words, Gucci Tiger. And the other is closer to the Dior Toile, which is an illustrated drawing type print. Very pretty. It's more colorful than the Dior ones. And those those, from what I've seen mentioned on YouTube, seem to be pretty popular. If you'd like an affordable piece from the collection, you're not going to be able to get a bag, but you could get this scarf. It's beautiful. It's $270. Expect this to be larger than like an Hermes Twilly or a Louis Vuitton bandeau. It's not a dainty scarf. It's not enormous, but you can tie it on your bag, but it's, it's not small and dainty like the Twilly. A Louis Vuitton, I was looking at their website and they also have a Lunar New New Year collection. I didn't see any bags or even bag charms. I feel like I saw a tiger at one point, but I didn't see it on the website when I was looking the other day. A tiger bag charm. What I did find were a few houseware items. They have this tiger puzzle for $895. This set of four plates with a little leather holder for $1,470. And my favorite, the set of four cups, which I'm guessing are porcelain. I didn't read the description beforehand. Didn't do my job here. These are $1,090. 
dollars. Break that down, it's only a little more than $250 a cup. That's reasonable, right? It'd be nice if you could only buy one, but you do have to get all four at once. If you are interested in any Louis Vuitton items, of course, please reach out to my sales associate at the Houston Galleria. Her name is Becca, and I have her number listed below so you can text her if you're looking for any of these items or anything else. Here's a brand that I have never purchased from. I've never been a big fan of theirs, but I do really love their Lunar New Year bags this year. It's MCM, and they have this mini trunk bag and this mini tote, both in the same print. So it has their, their normal monogram MCM print and then the tiger stripes on top of it. And I think that's a great combination. Instead of just making a bag and slapping tiger stripes on it, they're incorporating that design into the design they already use. And I think that's a clever way of doing it. I was watching Dale's Addiction and The Closet, Connor, and I would link this video below, but I don't remember which one it was. It was a recent one, so I'll just link both of their channels. They were talking about, it was a Q&A, something like that. They were talking about a bunch of different topics. And Lunar New Year bags came up and Connor said something about everything just has tiger stripes on it. Like in the design room, when they're coming up with things for the Lunar New Year, they're coming up with designs. Somebody's like, let's put tiger stripes on the bag. And they're like, okay, no more brainstorming needed. That's it. That's brilliant. That's the only idea, the best idea we can come up with. And you're going to see that's pretty true. A lot of these bags just have tiger stripes slapped on them. But I like how MCM incorporates that with their design. Those are some of my favorites. That trunk bag, by the way, might be sold out by the time you see this video because the screenshot I took said only a few left in stock. Retail on that was $980 and the small tote, $620. And one of the nice things I like about that design is you have the black stripes in the middle and it fades out into an orange on the edge. MCM really put some thought into this, not like some of the other brands. All right, let's move into contemporary brands here. I'm going to start with a bag that I happened to cross on Bloomingdale's. This is a bag made by Bloomingdale's, so it's not a handbag brand, but I thought it was really cute and worth mentioning. They have these little PVC bags. I have one that I've used as a lunchbox before. They're wipeable. They have some cute designs on them. They have some that just say, you know, the brown bag or brown bag or whatever their bags say. But they have this Lunar New Year one with the tiger, and I thought this was a really nice design. It's not just the tiger stripes. It has a tiger on it, but then it has other elements. And I think it's really well done, and it's only $36. Super duper affordable. Coach has some interesting bags. They took a a nice turn on this. They do have some bags where they slapped on the tiger stripes, but they also played with design in other ways as well. And they have bags both at the Coach website and the Coach outlet. For the Coach boutique website, they took Rexy, their dinosaur mascot thing, and they put him in a snuggly tiger costume and slapped him on the front of a bag, or her, Rexy's a girl. Now the outlet version of this bag also has a tiger on it, but it's this sort of generic cartoony tiger, which isn't my style, it's a little too child for me. However, a lot of people I'm sure think this is cute and they wouldn't be wrong. It is cute. It's just not for me. The outlet also has the Dempsey with the tiger stripes. I actually like this one better. Of the two, I would be more likely to wear the striped one than the one with the cartoon on it. And then the boutique also has just some red bags because red is the color of the Lunar New Year. And then the connection to the tiger is this tiger strap. And I think that's fabulous, especially in a bag where you can remove the strap and then you could wear the red bag with other straps throughout the year and also use the tiger strap on other bags. I think these are the most versatile pieces of all the Lunar New Year collection from Coach. And Coach also has these designs on ready to wear, on bags, on SLGs, backpacks, women's line, men's line, lots to choose from, and it will all be linked below. Karl Lagerfeld. This is a brand that I have been getting more and more interested in, and I've actually purchased three items that I have on my, on, that hmm, I have, they are on their way to me. Okay, let's learn how to talk. So I checked there, and they have this tote, which, again, the cartoony thing is not my thing, so this isn't something I would buy, but a lot of people like it. I do like that he has a little cat with him. I like that the people who designed for his company decided to keep that, add that, keep that, as a major part of the Karl Lagerfeld collection. And one thing that's cool about this tote is it comes with a little SLG, which is removable. It's just a little envelope pouch. And when you open the flap, it says Happy New Year 2022. And that bag, I'm trying to remember to give you prices on things, and I'm doing a terrible job of that. That is $228. And Karl Lagerfeld, they often have sales on their website, and you can also find them, I don't know if you can find that particular bag, but you can find them at Macy's and some other places. Kate's 
Spade, of course, the Kate Spade company is like, they're the queen of novelty bags, right? At affordable prices, relatively affordable when we're talking about luxury. And I like that they also played with this and did two designs. One more basic standard, which is the same tote everyone else is doing, a little boxy tote with tiger stripes on. And I think this one's really pretty. That's a nice design. The other thing that they did that's far more novelty is this bag that's shaped like a tiger. So if you're into bags that are shaped like things and you want a tiger bag, this is one for you. I actually have one that's shaped like a tiger that I like much, much more than this, but I think it's more expensive. I'm sure it's more expensive. Let's see. This one is $358. The other one's more expensive, but for the quality and the design, you'll see it in a minute, it'll be worth the extra cost. And I think uh, it's a lot cuter than this one, in my opinion. And actually, let me go ahead and show you that one since I'm talking about it. Oh, I don't have a picture of it. I'm trying to go sort of in alphabetical order here in case you haven't noticed. Hold on, I failed to do my job. Let me grab a screenshot of it real quick. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready. Tori Birch did something interesting. They have a page that says it's the Lunar New Year collection, but some of it just looks like stuff that has red in it and they've put it on this page and it probably existed before this collection and had nothing to do with it. I'm suspicious of that. However, there are some pieces that look like they're more special and there are definitely some that were made specifically for the Lunar New Year. Here's an example, the studio bag. By the way, I've seen these in person. The Tory Burch Jacquard bags are gorgeous. I'm very tempted by them. I may end up with one. We shall see. They're really beautiful and well done. This one is an example I'm talking about. It's just their jacquard print with red on it. Is that really part of the Lunar New Year collection? I don't know. They also have this bucket bag. Now this one looks like it is more special. It's the same thing as what I just showed you, except they've added some flowers. They look like roses. I don't know if that has anything to do with the Lunar New Year, but it is a little more special than the previous design. They also have this adorable little red card holder. I love this. That has a little tiger. And what I love the most about this tiger is that he's not even facing you. He's got his back to you. He's like, you're supposed to be saving your money and here you are spending it again. I can't even look at you. And this is the bag that I was just telling you about, the tiger-shaped bag. It's Tanya the Tiger, they've named it. Isn't this so much better than the Kate Spade one? This puts the Kate Spade bag to shame. This is gorgeous. This is a little piece of art. Not something that I could see myself carrying, but I think maybe I'd like to have one of these Tory Burch little sculptural bags. This isn't the first they've done that's shaped like an animal on my shelf one day. This one is about $600, so it's about 200 more than the Kate Spade one, worth every penny of that difference because the quality is so much better and the details and it's, it's, much better bag. And Tanya even has a Tory Burch sweater and a little handbag. It's just adorable. Superb, I tell you. Radley of London has some very cute bags. If you're at all familiar with them, you know that their logo is a little Scotty dog. They have played with that, like Coach did and like MCM did with their monogram print. And they've had their Scotty dog interacting with a tiger on some of their bags. They have this blue tote with the bamboo handle like Gucci. Very cute. That one's $345. And they have this little can shaped bag with the same print but on a tan and the same bamboo handle. I think those are really lovely and playful and much more creative than slapping stripes on a bag. And then there's Marc Jacobs. I am really happy with what Marc Jacobs did. This is maybe my favorite of the Lunar New Year collections besides MCM. The bag that is so popular, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that I've never talked about because I don't like it, is the Marc Jacobs tote bag or the Marc Jacobs the tote bag. Okay, I love the boxy shape of it. I love that it comes in so many different materials, so many different colors, so many different designs, patterns, things. Love that about it. Hate that it says the tote bag, giant on the front of it. There are some designs where that's more subtle because it's in the same color as the bag, like maybe a leather bag where it's just imprinted. That I can deal with, but the rest of them I just can't. And then there is the handles. There's this little thing at the base of the handles the handles are made in a similar way to the handles on a speedy bag. The handles just feel like they're on backwards to me or like they're sewn backwards. They have this indentation that you can see from the front and I don't like it. It just should have been sewn the other way where that's hidden on the inside and then I would like it better. However, all that said, and if you have this bag and you love it, 
don't listen to me. I love what they have done with this bag for the Lunar New Year. They've done two bags, two styles here. The first one, it's the obvious tiger stripes. However, it's the orange and black on the front, and when you turn the bag to the sides, it goes to black and white so it's something a little different. You've got a little tiger color blocking there, and that version of that bag is $295. Very affordable for a lot of people if we're talking about, you know, these prices versus luxury. It's right in that range, and I think for a special bag like this, it would be worth that cost. There's another one, though, that I like even better because I think it's much more creative, and that is this one. So they've incorporated the orange and the white with the black tiger stripes, but they've made it, instead of just blocking the color like that first bag, they've put a tiger on the front of the bag that's incorporated into the stripe design, and I just think that's so much more clever than what I've seen from most of the other places. At least they are doing something with the tiger stripes and not just slapping it on there, you know? Maybe we should have had a drinking game where I say slapping it on and you'd take a nice drink. This bag is $325, so it's a little bit more than the other one. Worth the difference, I would say. The majority of the bag is black and white stripes. Oh, and this bag is smaller than the other one. That first one I showed you is like the regular size. I don't have the dimensions in front of me, but I'm guessing maybe 30 centimeters. This one with the tiger is the mini size, so it is smaller. I'm going to guess it's maybe 10 inches or so, but don't quote me because I have not looked at the dimensions. That's 100% a guess out of my head. It also looks like the shoulder strap on this bag is furry. Speaking of furry straps, I have to show you something. Look at this. The Marc Jacobs camera bag, which I've never cared anything about until I saw this. It's all tiger fur. Fake, of course. But look at the strap. This is what really does me in on this bag, and for some reason I want it really bad. Would I ever wear it? Maybe once. But it's... Mm, I just want to touch it and have it to stroke it. I just love it. How about you? I think this is a love-hate kind of bag. I think it's going to be very polarizing, and I think if it had another strap I wouldn't be interested, but because it has that furry strap, Mm. I, I'm not gonna get it, but I it's very tempting. The price definitely keeps me from getting it. I think it's too expensive at $375 for that particular bag. I think the tote is worth it, but not this one. I don't know why. Maybe because I would wear the tote, not this so much, but it's really lovely. And I have to say, I am a fan. Uh, again, not gonna buy one, but I am a fan of the Marc Jacobs furry bags that look like Cousin It. I don't know what's wrong with me internally that I like these bags, but I do. And I'm not going to apologize for it. Those are your Lunar New Year handbags. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you saw something you liked. Let me know in the comment section if you think you might get something. Ideas that you have, because a lot of these designers at these houses, they just weren't very creative with these. What would you have done differently? I'd love to hear it. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.